Hey legit fam, just got done watching Ready or Not. Are you ready? I know I am. But before we get into it, the answer to last video's trivia question, who was the author of the book series, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, is Alvin Schwartz. So congratulations to those who got it correct. Um, make sure you stick around to the end of this video for a chance to win a $20 AMC gift card by answering this video's trivia question. And with that, let's get into it. So Ready or Not follows a young new bride that marries into her husband's rich, crazy family. She doesn't know they're crazy yet, but she will soon. So basically, she's going to have to play this game called Hide and Seek. Very simple, except she doesn't know that her new family is going to try to kill her. So <laughs> Yeah, uh, so that basically is, is the plot of the whole movie. What I loved about this movie, and I really did love this movie, is that it gets into it very quick. Yes. You don't have to worry about too much setup time or lag in the beginning. It's an hour and a half long and and it really uses most of the hour and a half for the action and enjoyable part of the movie. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of time spent, you know, being dull. I wouldn't say there's any dull moments or anything like that. Uh, I really did also enjoy this movie. It was cohesive for the most part, you know. Absolutely. I didn't I didn't really see a whole lot of plot holes everything was there more or really less any that really, I saw. it was more or less really you know thoroughly explained everything as far as you know yeah, the plot in the movie so. i agree every like i felt like um everything that was brought up was for a reason which i appreciate because i feel like in a lot of movies people bring things up just for throwaway lines and gags and whatnot but in this movie if, if a character said something it was for a reason it, it kind of it, it, it was either to show why their character was the way they were or it would come back later on and you'd be like ah you know there would ah it's come full circle and it's yeah. it's very satisfying um but i i also want to go ahead and commend the acting especially of the leading lady uh she did a really good job in my opinion yeah samara she did pretty good i i did like her um i thought she was very much charismatic especially in the beginning she was very much into you know the person that she she was supposed to be and i think she did it very well i played with the other actors it was a nice sandbox well. to be in um something another thing that i enjoyed about it was that this movie um kind of deviates from your star standard horror tropes where you maybe have the scream queens that all they do is yeah. scream and fall and die or not die etc etc um basically it's a lot of characters hunting one person which is already a deviation from like the one person hunting a lot of characters and right. one by one they die but also um i wouldn't say that this was a mary sue or like a a damsel in distress type character she did a very good job of like one definitely there were times where she was in pain and in distress and showcasing it like that raw emotion but also there were times where she had to like pull herself up by the like the pants and just be a big girl about it and and get things done and i think that that was a a nice change from the stereotypical female characters in horror movies yeah i do i do think um they hit hit the nail on the head with this as far as you know a, a strong female uh lead and the more or less the deception especially that was going on you know in some of the beginning parts of the movie where everything's you know quote unquote fine but you know it's not gonna be fine yes. in 10 minutes you yeah know, so i would say that the whole the whole movie is very enjoyable and a lot of the characters were very relatable um but before we get into our final ratings we're gonna go ahead and ask you this video's trivia question what country is leading actress samara weaving from great go ahead and leave your answers in the comments below for your chance to win a 20 dollars amc gift card we're gonna go ahead and draw that winner the first movie review in september and that's coming up very quickly yep. and now to get into our final our final ratings and i would say that i would honestly give this movie an eight and a half maybe even a nine i liked it i would i would probably give it an eight and a half as well um like i said i thought it was pretty thorough and it was just honestly from start to finish it was an enjoyable it was enjoyable movie absolutely uh <laughs> and so uh go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the notification button to keep up to date with all our latest content um if you like this review go ahead and click our previous review uh, linked in the video or you can watch some of our playlists we have one with our highest rated highest rated movies uh we have one that's just our podcast but go ahead and click a playlist uh, and we hope you enjoy our content Yep, and with that, 
We'll see you in the next one.